What is up, everybody? It's 8 p.m. Mountain Time, and that means it's time for another episode of Home Theater Fanatics. Tonight is episode 111. That's right, the triple ones. And we've got an awesome episode lined up for you tonight. And tonight we've got the gents from Hyperion Audio, Dallas and Colin. Hey, hey. how's it going? <laughs> What's up? I'm, dude, I'm excited. So, Thanks for having us, Giles. Oh, yeah. Wow. You guys are welcome all the time, especially when you have cool new products to talk about because you guys got the business going on. Right now. It's pretty. <laughs> I know it's pretty they're coming exciting. left and right, man. <laughs> oh, I I know. It's like uh, I don't I don't know what happened. Somebody over there said it's time to release everything new and it's gonna be cool. And man, it, <laughs> it's, it feels like you guys have been dropping new stuff like every month or every other month or something for a little while now. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we'll get into all that stuff in a few minutes, but maybe to get started, um, for the folks that don't know you guys yet, maybe we can go through some introductions and, um, you know, I think Dallas, you're, you're confusing people cause you're both Dallas and Colin and then Colin below is just Colin. So you're like, I, I can, I can do both. Right. <laughs> Dallas is everyone. Yeah. He is. He is. He is. Every, we, we are. Dallas and Colin. Uh, so, um, Dallas, maybe maybe you go first since you're in the top row. And and uh, who are you, man? What what do you do for Appearing Audio? What's your deal, man? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, my name's Dallas. I'm the uh, general manager at Appearian, and along with that, uh, I also help with customer service, shipping, QC, the whole thing, marketing. Um, from there, uh, we've got Colin. Uh, hey, Colin. <laughs> What's hey, up? man. What's so uh, I do customer service and stuff. Uh, I help you set up the fevers, <laughs> oh, yeah, fevers, and I'm just that all around fun guy you want to uh, hang out and chat with when you and, contact a period, you know, right on. You got a cool hat too. I mean, <laughs> I mean Hey, it's, it's Oregon. You got to rock the beanie, you know? Oh, I, I apparently, so I, I, I'm in Colorado. I should probably rock a beanie too. Anything to, you know, cover up <laughs> that. <laughs> That's less. That's an old man talking right there. I mean, I'm preparing for the inevitable, so yeah, it's. Cool. Oh, really? Is it? You think, you think it's, it's in the genes? Yeah, right on. So, um, there there might be folks that are not familiar with the brand. So let's let's take a minute and just talk through Appearing Audio, right? So, you guys have been around for a long time, right? Yep. So 1999. <laughs> nine, oh, dude, you guys know how to party like it's. So what's Always. that? Twenty. 22 years now or something like that? Uh, and, I guess, yeah. I, yeah. I haven't actually. <laughs> yeah, 22. Right on. And and you've gone through like multiple versions of all your speakers and refreshed and upgraded and all kinds of cool stuff over time, right? Yep. Um, yeah. Just, I mean, the engineers never stop. You know, it's like uh, if you're a musician, you could probably relate to this, but you start writing a song and you feel like you can never finish it. It's kind of how it is building speakers <laughs> right on. Yeah, that, that I totally get it. And, you know, for as a consumer of speakers, I'm all like, I think I found the best one ever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's never the best one ever. It, there's never there's always yeah. one more. Yeah, there's always one more. I want this the one, never this ending one, this quest one. for audio and, nirvana. <laughs> and then people like you keep releasing better stuff and cooler stuff. And I'm like, oh. That one's awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. And you guys are a, 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 a internet, internet direct sales company exclusively. Is that, is that right? So if folks want your stuff, they, they go to the website and that's how they get your stuff. Correct. Uh, we do have stuff available on Amazon as well. For example, uh, the super tweeters are available through Amazon prime. Right. On. Um, however, you know, everything else that you order off Amazon, um, is fulfilled directly by our fulfillment uh, f facility in Portland, Oregon. Right on. Um, and then otherwise, yeah, uh, everything just right on appearingaudio.com. Um, you can find all the information <laughs> that you would ever need to know about Appearing on there. <laughs> right on. Yeah. And so for the, the folks that are looking, uh, cool. see, I can pull this up here and yeah, you can, you can scroll through and see all the, all the business and man, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff and we'll, we'll get to more of this in a minute mm -hmm. um, as we start to talk through products and stuff, but let's, let's take a quick second and say hi to some folks. And I, I think the person that we got to call out first here joining us, joining us is AP. And if there's a, a person that loves appearing in audio more than AP, I don't know that I've ever met them before, but you know, AP he'll, he's, he's around, but whenever, you know, appearing in audio comes up, he's like, he, he materializes it's like like the smoke comes and there's like an explosion and the lightning bolts. <laughs> yeah he's like 
I heard someone say a Purian audio. I'm like, say a period? <laughs> what's, what's up, man? Hey, uh, so anyway, glad uh, glad to have you on the show. And apparently, he's hyped about the V8Ts. Well, oh yeah, so we'll, get, all are. <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll we'll get to that. Um, Double A is up in the crowd today. Uh, he's uh, he's with us every week, and I'm super happy to to see him back again tonight. Also, Hi Fi Haven. He's another uh, local Claridian. Awesome. Coloradian, I don't know what Coloradian, Coloradian, <laughs> Col Coloradian, whatever we are. Um, and Stephen Gordon, I don't know if I know Stephen Gordon, but he obviously loves Oregon. It's good time out here. <laughs> it's, I mean, he's he's like he's all about it. Mad Prana, good to see you up in the house. Uh, a, another another one of the guys, and then the last but not least, uh, Double A up in the house as well, and uh, he's he's one of my favorites. Nice. Just because he's such a handsome, good-looking fellow, and he's, he's the only <laughs> yeah. one with he's the only one with two double A's in his name, right? He's like a battery; he's full of energy all the time. Uh, <laughs> he's double A for a double dose. Oh, right! Double dose of awesome. It's kind of like triple X, <laughs> but double A. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, um, so let's. Uh, I, I think we should just kind of get right into it and start talking about the stuff and tell the story of kind of what's what's been new for Appearing Audio over. I don't know, last six months or something like that. Maybe we can turn back the hands of time and we can kind of touch through the the new stuff, uh, sure. and then and, that, and then after that, maybe if there's secrets or hints, maybe. I don't know if there's anything you can talk about that's not out yet, but if there are, maybe you could tease people and yeah. make them want it even more. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so so if we roll back the clock a little bit, what uh, what's the the newest thing in recent history, or the oldest thing in recent history? I guess. Uh, where to start? Um, man, okay, let's start here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Was it Slims or uh, Super? The let's start with Novus because that's really you know the biggest um, I, th that's the biggest thing you know as far as introducing a brand new family of speakers. Um, so we'll start with the Novus. Uh, with the Novus started as a revision of the Intimus, um, and there were also at the time we were looking at expanding the Alaire. Uh, Bluetooth line into a tower speaker. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, so what ended up happening is, you know, we we were just kind of over the intimus in a sense, uh, in terms of, you know, it's been around for 20 years. You're so over it. We're, it's, we're over yeah, it. and with, with much love, trust me, we, you know, I mean, Colin's got a set of 532s, um, you know, for his home setup that he swears by. You know, me downs but, from Dallas. It was awesome. Yeah, exactly. I gave them to him. Well, so. I remember when I first learned about you guys, you know, that you had three lines at the time and Intimus was still kicking around, I think, yeah. at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At that time, uh, as soon as we launched the Novus, we also started clearing out the Intimus and stopped production on that. Um, and so while we do love the Intimus line and the sound signature, uh, the Novus is very much improved uh, from top to bottom. Um, the treble is very refined. Uh, you get a nice snap on the snare drum. Um, you know, as, as far as the bass response goes in the new Novus, uh, sixties, uh, which we'll get more into that. But I mean, those things are very comparable with our, uh, Varus Grand Tower. Oh, um, right and they do, they've know. got a crazy port on these things too. Yeah, the slot port. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, it looks it looks really cool. Let me see if I can pull up. Uh, let's pull up the N five Ts, which yeah, I think the, those were brother. the those were the flagships before the new ones, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's and right. so, yeah, I mean, you know, okay, so we launched the Novus line, and you know, from there we have your basic five point oh uh, with Atmos add ons. Um, and that was around, um, I think sometime in 2019, I don't remember exactly, but about two years ago. So, right. And it was like right around the time I started with the period actually, yeah. this was on the way out and Novus was just coming in and it was like, Whoa, man. And that, yeah. and that was about the time I started my channel up too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like right at the end of 18, early 19 is when I was first getting started. Yep. So yeah, from there, I mean, you know, you take your 5.0s or, you know, five point plus Atmos and then 
you know, we looked at different ways to expand the line. I believe the next one that we came out with after that first batch was the Novus Slim. And the cool feature with the Novus Slim is that they have a built-in uh, mounting mechanism on the back. Yeah, uh, so can you can that. just easily, you know, mount them on either side of your TV. Um, Hang it up like a picture, man. Exactly. It's simpler. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that called like keyhole mounting or something like oh, that? Yeah, yep, I should have knew that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think it's called keyhole mounting. Cool. Well, uh, it also has the uh, dual inserts uh, in case you do want to get a mount that has articulation, um, you know, so you can get some good angles on it. Uh, right. We actually just had a guy buy four of these uh, to put up in his ceiling. Um, for Atmos? For Atmos, yep. Oh, yeah, because if he's got articulating... Uh, a hangers or whatever you want to call them mounts dude he could point them right and have them right on axis with his seating and that'd be pretty awesome oh, yeah exactly. dude what's what's up with the the what are, what's what's up in here oh is that a tweeter attenuator that's the trouble mod yeah yeah okay cool i i think that's a really cool feature um that i, I don't think a lot of people really understand what 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 you're trying to accomplish there maybe you could talk about that for a second because i really like having speakers uh, especially in this kind of form factor where you can use that right and so why yeah. would somebody be interested in that colin you want to take that sure <laughs> you know root, the attenuation <laughs> is really a cool feature so all it does is by moving that pin or removing it from the novice line uh you're reducing the treble by three decibels and so you know, if you got a really bright, you know, lively room or, you know, if the treble response is just a little too much for you, it's like, it's a customization option, you know? Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, it's funny, like all the customers I talk to and almost more so with the super tweeters, but even with the Barris and, and Novus alike, you know, there's some people that, you know, got to have it in that negative three and some that like it at nominal. I always preferred it at nominal, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's the beautiful part about audio is we all, Hear something, yeah. Different, you know, and <laughs> totally. so it's cool to have those options. And like I said, especially for you know the new modern homes that are ninety percent windows and you know marble. Oh and stuff like yeah, that. totally. Acoustic nightmare. I mean, that can help a little bit. It's not going to solve all your problems, but right. yeah, yeah. It's one a thing. Deal. One thing I've done uh, with with similar features and speakers before is um, for my front sound stage. You know, I would I would maybe have a center channel that's behind a screen, and that screen attenuates the the tweeter down just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is on the left and right is I would move that those to the to the minus three setting, and then I would leave the the center channel in the nominal position, mm -hmm. and that helped oh, yeah. kind of smooth that out. You know, I, I'd still use the the processor to to get it right where it needs to be, but yeah. that would uh you know kind of naturally in a, in an analog fashion i guess kind of get you closer to consistent across that front sound stage when you have a piece of fabric you know cover, yeah, yeah. covering that up right on. <laughs> yeah cool yeah no that i mean these these are cool and you know these are the perfect form factor for hanging on a wall i mean they're mm -hmm. just i guess that's why you call them slim right <laughs> you know the cabinet's like five inches deep too so it's not sticking off the wall much you know yeah and like dallas said it's got um brackets for a wall mount and our stealth mount is amazing with that speaker it fits perfectly of course and you well, know it it right up against the wall i've never seen is that under accessories it is the wall mounts yeah mm -hmm. all right let's let's find the stealth mount um, the stealth mount <laughs> is it uh is that yeah, it? Uh, yeah, down a little bit that guy. oh this guy yep all right oh yeah dude that's like Oh, and so you bolt that thing on and you slide it in and it grips on the top and bottom? Goes top to down, but yeah. 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 And it works with the A5s too. And that, you know, puts the A5 on your wall or ceiling without, you know, any brackets hanging out or anything like that. Super nice. clean. I see what yep. you're saying. And then you would, I guess, put a screw in here to, to lock yeah, it in place. Yeah, the safety locks. Safety, yeah. Yeah. Safety oh, that's first. Nice. So, oh, <laughs> the safest speakers in the world. <laughs> that, no, yeah, that's, that's kind of nifty. Yeah, that's yeah. neat. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I've, I actually had not seen those before. I need to. I got <laughs> a tool around here in the mounts, a little bit more. Yeah, I'm so an accessories guy, man. I always been, I always have been. <laughs> that's cool. You know, I, ha I have. Uh, I think I have this exact set of uh, of, of speaker uh, stands here. So nice. like, that I got from somewhere back. Little satellite like, guys. Yeah, they're they're kind of cool. Yep. Right on. <laughs> oh, and then the is this like a, a center channel wall mount? So you would just yep. screw that into the wall and then just jump it right on there. 
Yep, exactly. And that, that one works perfect for the novice. Uh, but if you go bigger than, you know, like the Varus Center, then you'll want to get the, the PS200. Oh, yeah. This guy? Uh, no, no, no. Um, it's uh, right there in the middle. Oh. Yeah, you, you know, here's here's a problem that I have almost always had um, for center channels especially when I have a large screen that's a little too close to the floor, you know, the center channel stands, they're always too low or too high. I just, I can never seem to find one that's just right. But this guy, you just put it wherever you want to. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you just, and you can snug it up to the wall really nice too. That's cool. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, dude, man, look at me learning stuff. Learning. <laughs> old, old dog can learn new tricks. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got to, I got to call out uh, Mr. Joey Peacock. What hey. is up, Mr. Peacock? What up? I just uh, I just dropped a review of uh, the Acurus. So Joey works for Acurus, uh, their twenty channel oh. processor, and that thing is the bomb. Ooh. Oh nice. my god! Sweet. And they they have a a new module called Aspect, which is their auto EQ room uh, EQ correction. And uh, I've seen some sneak peeks of that, and man, that thing cool. is freaking cool and you know <laughs> they've promised me that they'll send me a unit to review here one of these days uh, and i did i'm just i i, I just like I want it. oh god it just i mean because that for me that that kind of just takes it over to the next level and uh you know i think what i'll be able to do um maybe i'll even have that unit by the time that that i'm going to work on some next some new review stuff for you guys so i'll be able to plug nice. your stuff into that thirteen thousand dollar processor <laughs> with another ten thousand dollars worth of amplification behind it gear and, it uh, up man yeah, yeah. Yeah. unless uh, unless, <laughs> unless luck, see, uh, what this stuff can really do that, <laughs> that'll be exciting yeah you're right joey the the aspect is absolutely a game changer anyway uh enough of that let's let's get back to these products so sure. um you, you've got oh i clicked on something oh my god <laughs> It's cool oh, nuts in here, great people. Uh, so, so the Novus, uh, yep. we you got your Slim. Um, so, what what's after Slim Shady here? Uh, then you can jump up to that Slim LCR, um, and that kind of covers the the whole gamut so far. Um, you know, uh, top secret over here. Uh, uh -oh. We sent you that picture of the new tripolar style speaker. I I, um, I didn't want to say anything, but that was know. pretty pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty unique design. We'll have that up on the website shortly here, uh, uh, hopefully in the next week or so. Can I can I show it? Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, in a, a he's like no, <laughs> he's like yeah no yeah no don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> did you send that to me in email? Um, or did you send that to me in? Yeah, you must have uh, been in email. Instagram. Instagram. Oh, yeah. Instagram. Okay. Let me, let me see if I can figure out how to do this. All uh -oh. right. Uh, yeah. I gotta, <laughs> you're making it difficult over here. I know. Uh, right? I know. Sorry, I wasn't prepped for that. <laughs> I know, but this, this is cool because I remember when you guys were first looking at this and you were, you were trying to come up with a name for it and you get, you were coming up with all kinds of interesting, interesting names. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mostly goofy stuff, but Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me see. Oh, that's okay. I got a video version. All right, here we go. Let me pause that. All right, so StreamYard, stop screen sharing, share, <laughs> share screen, Technology. Chrome tab, Instagram chats, share, boom. Oh, the suspense. Oh, there it is. <laughs> look, look at that. It comes with a hat and everything. I even put the hat on it. <laughs> a hat with every order. And I don't know if this video will actually play. I can't tell if it's playing for other people. Not for me. I'm seeing it. Oh, well, yeah, the video is like motion a... is there, but the sound yeah. is not the sound's there. Not there. Not. Okay, right on. Yeah. It, 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 plays, just... it plays music, too. Yeah, we were listening to Between the Buried and Me, you know? <laughs> right on. Actually. So for that unit, so it's got uh, like a a mid mid range or a mid base driver in yep. the front with a tweeter and then two mid ranges on the side what's the what's the idea there what what's the goal with that kind of speaker full 360 degree surround sound action <laughs> right dude it, you, immersive and, action is it's the, pretty dang cool too i tried it out is it's the awesome. idea that you would use pairs of those for surround sound speakers or would you just could somebody just buy one if they just had like a small space where they needed like some wide sound field, but you I know, didn't want to do this. You, uh, you would obviously just get the mono channel unless you could sum it together somehow. Sure. You know? Right on. Huh. 
Yeah, dude, that's, that's interesting. That's, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that could be like if you have a small space and and you yeah, you just sum it together, take your RCA cables and wire yeah. them into a channel of amplification. Any any chance that that could be a powered system one day? Ooh. That's if you don't know, we're not. That's a good tell idea. You. Let's. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just, we'll keep that in mind for the Alaire family. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's. I mean that it. I I like that form factor a lot. I've seen other similar kind of speakers in the past. Yeah, and and they're really cool. Now, are the these are uh they're all in phase, right? So you're not like doing dipolar or anything like that, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, there's cool. no switcher or anything like our Varus line has. Right on. Yeah. So and and those will be out. It looks like that was that like a production sample. Uh, that was actually fre uh, just off this last shipment. So. Oh, so that's like prod production yeah. stock. Yeah, first, first batch, first everything. Oh, that's so it's it's coming in the immediate future then. Yeah, nice. and it's here pretty soon. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so uh, every, everybody, if you on the web page, if if and, you want uh, some, uh, there's a link down below. Just click that, and there's a coupon, and, and <laughs> buy a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> all buy a lot. Buy all, all, the all, all just buy them all you <laughs> yeah. 200 pair buy them out and then you can sell them for a profit right right <laughs> appearance like that's fine just buy them all sure. it's, it's all good <laughs> all right let me see if i can share the screen back up and we can move on to the 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 next goodness that you guys yeah sure have coming out all right um there we go we're back in business so um what what's next so that well no that doesn't bring us fully up to date on novus or yeah, maybe you want to go in a different uh, order just, though uh say that again so yeah do you want to cover the rest of that or do you want to get to it kind of in timeline sequential order uh no i just overall as a family i was going to go over the sound signature oh um, yeah as, do it do as it as you start you know so what's interesting is the you know the regular bookshelf uses a five and a quarter inch woofer um you know but it does have the deeper cabinet with the slotted port on the front. But then if you compare that to say the other slim satellite um, right. where it's not ported, but it has a six and a half inch woofer, you know, the sound qualities are uh, interesting and different. You know, that while there's a little bit less of that, you know, deep bass that's under 80 Hertz in the slim satellite, you know, your bookshelf, this bookshelf will cover, you know, all that stuff for those deeper frequencies. Right, right. You know, but at the same time, if you're pairing either of those with a sub, you know, they hand off good to go. <laughs> very nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. So then if you step up, th what's really cool and interesting is the the slim LCR speaker. Um, um, all right. Let's find the slim LCR speaker. Yeah. Oh. And, you know, if you want to stay there on that page real quick, actually, um, the comparison that's very interesting is the LCR speakers compared to the Novus 5T tower. Okay, so where's the slim LCR at? I'm totally just right down in the middle, right there. Oh, right here. This is it. That's, no, that's the 6T. Go down just one. Oh, there this one. Go. Okay, gotcha. That, yeah, that's the slim. It's got two six and a half inch woofers. If you were to try to compare that, if you're needing to, you know, save space or anything, it's honestly pretty close to the Novus uh, 5T up there in the top right corner. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah that guy. Um, again, it's a slim profile. You don't get the deeper extension below the 80 hertz. If you're using it with a sub, though, I mean, honestly, you know, you're you in good shape. You can go with the LCRs or the 5T, and you're going to be just as happy with each. Yeah, so I, I see what you're saying. So if people were to take this speaker, yeah, let me, let me blow it up here, and uh, – and you take that and turn it vertically, it's basically the same speaker arrangement that you have in the tower without the the bass reflex action. Exactly. And the, yeah. the deeper port, you know what yep. I mean? So, yep. But when paired with a sub, I mean, both of those guys, you know, pair nicely, um, you know, the and then the next I mean, Colin, I better let you uh, shed some light on the Novus 5C. On the 5C. That's like my speaker, dude. <laughs> oh, is that, that's your one? Yeah. It's, you know, such a great center channel. I mean, you know, and honestly, the, the slim LCR. Right yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, the LCR that Dallas was just talking about makes an excellent center channel, too. But this thing has that mid-range driver. And, you know, that's everything for dialogue, of course. But this thing is totally a dialogue machine. I mean, it's just nice and clear. It's crisp. Uh, you get really nice definition and articulation and everything with, with male voice, especially, uh, it kind of just knocked me off my, off my feet. When I first heard it, I was, <laughs> I was really excited about it. 
Um, you know, and it's also kind of that perfect size, in my opinion, where you get, you know, a nice big sound, but it's still going to fit in most, you know, entertainment centers and things like that. I really like this one in white. Oh yeah. The white. I like it in white with the, with, with the way this grill looks on the front of it with that it's curve on the bottom. That's cool. That, pop, right. Yeah. That's, that's a nice touch. Yep. Yep. I mean, it, it would have been simple. It would have been simple just to make it fit the the face front and not have any of the extra character that you get doing it this way. But mm -hmm. I really like that extra character that it brings. Oh, yeah. 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 And, you know, with all the Novus cabinets, uh, except for the Slims, um, they all feature a sloping baffle. And so a right. lot of people don't notice that. And, you know, just the overall curvature of the cabinet, I guess you could say, is is just cool. You know, it's modern. It's new. It's It's sleek. It's awesome. Yeah, you can kind of see it in this photo a little bit. So you can see how, how it's leaned just mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. It's back just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 10 degrees or something. Yeah. That's it's cool. It's really, really fantastic. You know, and got the, the alignment between the mid and the tweeter. It's great. I mean, yeah, I can't say enough good stuff about this speaker. <laughs> and, you know, that's really nice too from a center channel perspective because most of the time, you know, center channels are going to be underneath whatever the screen is. Trying to pop them up. That's often underneath your your line of sight. It's down, and yep, everybody's right. like, "I got to stick something under it." And this Propping gives you a little up, bit. Of, yeah, no, this is that's that's very thoughtful. <laughs> that was very thoughtful of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean, you guys are like caring speaker designers. I mean, you think about what the customer wants. Sure that's pretty can. awesome. You know, man, man, I'm impressed. I like that. And there again, it's like you know the 5C and the 4C and the 6C, even in the Intimus lines, you know, those were great center channels. They're amazing right. center channels, but they were boxes, you know, right. they're just rectangles. Like there's nothing yeah. fancy about it. And, you know, with Novus, it's like a lot of the guts from Varus, you know, the silk dome tweeter with ferrofluid cooling, you know, Dude, the updated crossover. So good. Those tweeters are amazing. And, so, so yeah. I've, uh, you know, I've, I've taken the, uh, uh, the kind of, I guess the flagship bookshelves uh, out and I've listened to them a lot. The, the various <laughs> I've listened, I've listened to them a lot and uh, actually they, they won bookshelf battle number two, I think it was. Yeah. And yeah. And, and I mean, they're just amazing speakers. I mean, and, and for the money, I, I hate to say for the money because it's all always like, Oh, for the money, you know, yeah. uh, but dude, the, I mean, they, they were like punching, Really, I mean, it was like all uppercuts from these guys, and they were just destroying some of this other stuff. I was, I, 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 I love them. I, I think they are wonderful, wonderful bookshelf speakers. I can't recommend them enough. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you guys could charge twice if the price if you wanted to, and I think people would still pay it. I mean, they're they're that good. But we care, Giles. We exactly. Care. <laughs> exactly. You know, what's funny, you're not the first person to say that about our pricing structure. Um, you know, we've had plenty of people come into our showroom and they say that exact thing. You know, mm -hmm. our Varus Grand Line, um, I forget, it was, a, I think there was a triad brand or a triad type of speaker that was almost $10,000. But, you know, I guess, I guess we're naturally segueing to... Uh, the Varus conversation. <laughs> We're talking about Varus now. Yeah. Well, so, uh, you know, I'm just let me, let me pull these up so people can see. So, you know, these come in black and in cherry. Um, and I, I like black, but cherry just photographs so well. If you, if you like cherry, I think these are really awesome. But these bookshelf speakers, they're what, $8.99 a pair, a regular price, full price? Is that right? $7.99. Seven, see? Only $7.99. Because bucks. we care. I, just, I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm just going to keep rolling with that, dude. <laughs> because they care. Because they sound care. so good. I mean, I, I, I would put them up against many other pair of twelve and $1,500 bookshelf speakers. No problem, right? And, and all, all day long, right? The, these things are reported. They've got the, the tweeter attenuation technology. So you can, and, and it's a little more advanced even than the other stuff. Uh, so you get back here because so you can do uh, zero minus, well, I guess it's zero or minus three. I thought there might have been a plus on this one. Um, dude, it's just, and then, these, uh, oh yeah, totally buy up. So you get the separate crossover network on the inside. So you can, uh, yep. you could buy wire if you want to, or buy amp. Uh, and I, dude, I actually did a video about buy amping not too long ago. So if anybody wants to know how they can go check that out. Oh, nice. I, I took <laughs> a, uh, I took a eight channel amplifier, <laughs> bridged it to four channels <laughs> and then used those four channels to push two speakers. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Of course you did. It, it was actually uh, 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 Joey's on, so it was the M8 amplifier from Acurus. So, <laughs> you know, it's like 
200 or 250 or something by eight and you just dump that all down into a couple of it's really funny um, anyway but the, the, yeah these because various, you can because you can yeah because i care <laughs> i care i care that other people know how you can do some really silly things because it was really silly um, but it was pretty rocking but yeah i guess this is a segue into uh into varus right so in Varus, so just just i guess to to cover back off so people can kind of see um, where there were three full lines before. Now there are two full lines, meaning everything from bookshelf to Atmos modules to towers, uh, book, uh, center channels and the whole deal. So there's Novus and Varus, correct? Yep. Yep. That's, okay. That's what we would consider our, uh, you know, traditional uh, passive speakers. That's right. It. Yeah, and there's there's cool powered stuff, and we'll get to that in a minute. But let's yeah, let's talk through Varus because this is what I am super excited about. Because yeah, this is what everyone wants to talk about. <laughs> yeah, well, let, let's 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 let them in on the secret then. So what's what's going on? Well, uh, you may see a, a little bit bigger of a tower on the top left corner there. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have been in production with this guy for I mean a long time, um, and pardon my uh, I think my daughter. It's, no, she's just agreeing. She's like, yeah, it took too agreeing. long. <laughs> she's like, it made me sad that you took too long to bring this up in the market. Um, so, Colin, why don't you go ahead and take over? I'll mute. Oh, VAT, man. We're really, really excited. You know, it's like Dallas said, it's been a long time coming. Um, this crossover network, that has got to be the most exciting part. Hol holy me. smokes. I had not. A lot going on there, right? Giles, if you double click, it should zoom in. Um, yeah, I think this is about, let me see if I can, it, I, it's hard for me to zoom it more. Um, well, let me double. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <hey>. swanky. <laughs> Sorry. I was a doubter. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Oh, so, so you've got attenuation on tweet. Oh, so you could do plus two. Stand cut. Look at that. Yeah. It's got like four different settings for every. For, for tweeter everything. and mid range, so it's yep. like you know, if you're looking for more of that throatiness, if you're looking for a little bit of scoop, if you're looking for a little brighter, a little more mellow, this thing's got options, man. I mean, it's huge. You know, it's it's bigger than our B60, of course, and <laughs> yeah, you know, we're just so excited because you know this has kind of been just the thing we've been working up to, and you know, to have the concert tower. It's just, it's fun to say it. Just rolls it's, it's the, the concert tower, the concert tower. And, and I like that you guys actually put real speaker wire on his jumpers instead of the crappy little. We did the know, bars for Varus one and Varus two. And, yeah. Yeah. These are much nicer. Yeah. The, it's, it's just a, it's a detail, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, you, you didn't have to do that. Um, mm -hmm. And the speaker would, you know, it sound great just with the, with the bars, but this is like, I don't know. It's like the cherry on top, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, look, I mean, that crossover network is just crazy. It's sense. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. bananas. I, 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 I don't, I can't think of another one like this. I mean, I'm trying to think even like in $10,000 pair of speakers. I, I just, it's usually the high end two channel stuff where yeah. you get adjustments <laughs> like this and yeah, you know, just, this still isn't a cheap speaker by any means, but for the features you're getting mm -hmm. and for the size and finish, I mean, you, you can get into a pair of this. Full price, what two grand? For, yeah, two grand well, or four grand for a pair. Well, yeah, yeah, two pair, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. You go back to have, that picture again yeah, with the with the crossover individual. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, we get so that question quite a bit. Yeah, we do. Look at the size of that port. <laughs> That's it's, what I'm talking about. Right there, there you go. You get your whole hand in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, so that's, I think, something we should talk about is the the speaker layout, right? So that's yeah. Th this is uh, this is significant, right? So got dual eights. We got dual uh -huh. five and a quarters with that lovely little face plug right in the middle, and then our mm -hmm. one inch soap dome tweeter. And so, yeah, you got that beautiful Vera sound with just that much much extra oomph in the uh, in the low end. And, um, you know, we redesigned the feet a little bit too. Oh, uh, I was going to say you didn't design, redesign the feet a little bit. Those feet are freaking <laughs> bonkers what they are. They look really cool, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> that, I mean, the feet make a speaker. I, I, I'm a speaker foot kind of guy and, and uh, it's got a foot fetish. Dude, it's, <laughs> no, it's important to me, man. I, 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 so if you take the speaker and you take those feet off and you just like put some kind of little pegs or something underneath the speaker. Well, it's hanging. It, yeah, like, it's like a whole different kind of thing. Not, mm -hmm. you know, not that it would necessarily sound different. Maybe it would. Uh, some people would say it would definitely sound different with different kind of feet. But 
it definitely looks different and it just it has like a different feel to it. So I really appreciate that. Um, and is that like a standard? Can you, could you do custom things down there if you wanted to? Cause I know some people will be like, I'm going to buy these speakers and then go buy these $500 set of feet to put on the bottom of it. Oh, is yeah. that a possibility with this? We've seen people do it. Yeah. I mean, right on. I tell people to make sure there's a return policy just in case. Cause <laughs> I think it's crazy to drop that much on feet, but you know, there again, audios to each their own. That's exactly. The part about exactly. it, you know. Yeah. So, um, how how deep will these play down with those two eights? Are you getting down like into the to the low forties and to the thirties? Maybe. Do you I know? forget. It was like thirty, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Oh, if it's down to thirty, that's deep. I think that was the frequency response. I could be wrong on that. I know. Maybe, maybe I have the power of the internet to look at specifications. Oh, specifications. There it is. <laughs> Uh, oh. yeah, 30, 30 to 30, 30 to 30,000 plus minus three. Um, I don't think I hear over 17 or anything anymore at nearly 50. <laughs> We're both uh, drummers, so we don't. You're sure. all like all right. <laughs> huh? 20, 20 Hertz is all I got. Just, I feel it. That's all there is. Yeah. Um, no, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. So there's the, the S the SR tweeter with the ferrofluid and this tweeter sounds wonderful. If you guys haven't heard it yet. Um, you know, I am a huge fan of face plugs and I don't, I don't know if people really understand what's going on with the face plug, but, uh, I, and I, I'm not going to get into it in the show. Cause that's like a whole show into itself, but <laughs> right. it that's really, radical, man. Yeah, it really changes the 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 sound characteristic of a speaker with the with all of the sound negation that happens, you know, just inside of where the sounds inside of that cone and stuff's bouncing around in there. I would recommend that folks listen, you know, or rather look that up and kind of figure out what's going on because that's that's a, a pretty high end feature, and um, you know, I've got a I've got a pair of speakers that you you have to get into like at the 6,000 per unit price point before you get into the phase plugs. So you yeah. guys putting that in a, a 2,000 per unit speakers, I mean, the, the, the level That's of technology, the one too. yeah, yeah the, the level of technology in these is, I mean, it, it's, it's, this is hardcore stuff and that, and the crossover network is crazy. And here, here's, I would not have expected a 91 decibel sens sensitivity out of a speaker with that level of complexity in the crossover. So a lot of times when you see those crazy crossovers, you look at this and it's like 88 decibels or 87 yeah. or 86 decibels. Right. And then you need 245,000 watts to, <laughs> to juice them up, you know? Um, but uh, no, this is cool. And 77 pounds, four ohm load, uh, down to 28 hertz at minus six and 35,000 for all of the dogs i don't, I don't know <laughs> for Whatever whoever wants to listen up there, up there. Yeah, yeah no that that's cool and then dude you've got 70 20 pounds of packing right so the, it's a 77 pound speed might need to check that but the shipping no no i i totally think that's that's right that's probably right though honestly. no i i would totally have some that's amazing right. packaging honestly yeah i mean that's that's i mean if you're buying a two thousand dollar per unit speaker you want it you, know, you want the box to be pretty nice too right you want it to come in a velvet bag right dude <laughs> if you can't if you can't make a dress or a shirt out of the packing materials for your speaker You've bought the wrong speakers. I'm just saying. I mean, you, you just gotta have the it's gotta have the slipcase. Um, <laughs> no, that that's cool. And I think there was an exploded view somewhere. Let me let yeah, me go and... back to the product description. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. uh product. Yeah, let's oh there we go. Pointing at the screen like you see my finger or something. Yeah, he's, he's pointing <laughs> me around. So uh things that are nice touches. So is this magnetic grill the the same kind of magnetic grill that you've got on the, the bookshelf? Is it similar? It's similar. Uh, yes. It's a wood grill. Right on. Yeah, I, I really like the one there. Um, aluminum feet, double ported. Now, is each eight, is it one chamber? Or I can't tell if it's a double chamber or a single chamber for those. Not that I know <laughs> that it would make a difference. I have no idea. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a single chamber for the two eights. And then there's another chamber for the bottom. There's, there's a mid-range diffuser channel. Mm-hmm. You know what? Uh, that bottom is bracing, actually. The oh, that is chamber, bracing. You're right. Yeah, the only chamber is for the mid range and the tweets. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So this this is the chamber for the eights. Yeah. It's like the whole thing, pretty much, mm -hmm. right? Okay, that's cool, right? Poured it. Okay, no, that's awesome. So that that's I guess that's the trick of getting down into the to, <laughs> to thirty with a couple of eights. That's awesome. 
it's a big cabinet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, that's gorgeous. And then we got some close up. Yeah, dude, this technology is good. Uh, and the crazy crossover is advanced. <laughs> it's, it's, it's advanced. It's the only way to be. Oh, and you can run it sealed if you want to for mm -hmm. the purists out there. And there are purists out there there that would be like, I can't, I can't deal with the ported design. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah. interesting enough, uh, we were doing some QC on some speakers the other day and, you know, we turned on the various grand towers out of the box and I was like, they sound a little bit like they don't have as much bass as they normally do. Cause I forgot that the port plugs are pre-installed. <laughs> Right on. So would so the port plugs is that when like if you wanted to go into like home theater mode and you're not trying to get like the super deep bass extension out of them because you're gonna have them crossed over anyway, you jam those guys in there. Is that yeah. is that the idea? Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. Uh, you know, the other idea is uh, again back to helping with room correction. Um, if your room has a you know bad habit of reproducing bass response that isn't necessary, then <laughs> these can help tune that up. Right. Oh, that, that makes complete sense. Oh, dude, it, it, it's going to stick. It's because, because they care. They care. <laughs> it's because they care. Um, all right. Yes. So let's, let's run through there. A couple of comments. Um, um, go crazy with the coupons. Absolutely. There's, <laughs> I think I actually got a coupon down below right now. So you guys, you should buy these before they're gone because you know, the, it's, that the, you, if you want, I'm sure that you can get these signed by Dallas and Colin as a special <laughs> signed edition today only. Just saying, I'm, I'm sure they would be glad to sign them for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, are there benefits to using a five channel amp to bookshelf speakers that can handle 250 watts RMS? Um, it, it, are you talking about the the crazy thing that I did when I was when I bridged the eight channel into uh into into four for two speakers? Um, no, there's not really a benefit to that at all, except maybe an extra decibel of sound or something like that. It was just a silly little thing that I did. Um, <laughs> some people are like, but the headroom. I'm like, no, no, um, no. It, there, there's plenty of do you put 250 watts into these things. And, and you'll never turn it up all the way. Don't just, need to. No, you just you, you, you could, but then your ears will probably oh why melt? Yeah, be <laughs> because you care. Because uh, you care. Um, Matthew, what's up, Matt? Uh, this this dude's awesome. Um, I love the modern design. Uh, if it's possible to quantify that in words, how does the Nova Sound signature compare to the Varus line? So, if uh, if you're if someone's trying to decide, and money's not the deciding factor. It's the sound. Uh, and th this is a hard question to put into words, right? Because you're going to be like, well, this one sounds yellow and this one sounds orange, right? Or something, you know, <laughs> you know, this will make you feel. But is there a comparison in what the speaker is trying to accomplish between just say the flagship towers of, uh, of both the, the lines? We spent a bit of time with the uh, 6T and the Varus 6T, um, you know, right after we got this. The Novus in, it was really close. I mean, the new Novus tower is super close to the Varus sound, but it's two way to three way, man. I mean, when you throw in that mid range, it's just a whole different ball game. Yeah, you know? no, that and, that makes a lot of sense, and I I love that three way design because then those speakers just aren't trying to work so hard to do everything right. And there's a reason why you have mid bass drivers. There's a reason yeah. you have mid range drivers. There's yeah. a reason you have tweeters. It's because they're optimized to do what they're supposed to do. You know, yeah. and it's like with like say vinyl records, I'll take a bookshelf system all day long, but with oh, you totally. know, home theater, you know, I feel like that, that mid range driver just adds that extra dimension that you kind of need for all those details. And, oh, absolutely. You know, and especially, especially when you get into the center channel action, mm -hmm. yeah. that's a super big deal. Oh, it's make or break. I mean, yeah, in my yeah. opinion, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no, I, I run a three way center ch uh, channel as well. And, uh, and I, and I love it. I actually like to run my front sound stage also as deep as possible. So I appreciate, uh, you know, having a tower like this, I, yeah. If if I could and I were going to build a Varus system, I would do uh, uh, an AT screen, an acoustically transparent screen, and I would use three of the towers across nice. the front. I mean, that, if, people do yeah, that. That is a really cool setup. Yeah, that yeah. that's that's baller. Um, and, and <laughs> if you can, if you have the space to do it and the room to do it, that without a doubt, that's the way you should do it. Maybe <laughs> oh, yeah. you guys should build a horizontal, you know, uh, center channel that's rocking the two eights. 
Oh, yeah. You are not the first to ask. <laughs> I know. That, that's the next logical thing. You're like, well, I got the tower. Now I need the eights that'll, you know, be right. perfectly <laughs> timber matched and everything else. Uh, but, you know, that's cool. Um, uh, AA likes the cherry. Um, Hi Fi Haven's loving the, the dual uh, posts on the back for buy wiring or buy amping. Yeah. Um, and then AA says, recommended power is 100 watts. Can you give them more power? So, when do people start to melt these? <laughs> where, where, where do you say too much <laughs> is too much, right? Where, let let yeah. me see if I can pull up the specs again. But yeah, I think that's a good question. I thought they were more than a hundred watts. Yeah, so two two twenty to three hundred. Yeah, that uh, that's probably power. when we we're still talking uh, oh. novas. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. But even those, I think go, I thought go up to two hundred. I don't remember. Um, it what's our Marantz in our demo room? That's around one hundred thirty-five, I think, and that to me is kind of like the sweet spot. Um, sure. You know, content's everything. I mean, two channels going to be different than home theater, and you know, home theater's up and down, up and down, depending on content. But right, you know, I think staying under two, what two hundred watts. You know, that's kind of where we see some tweeters start popping and that sort of thing. Or you know, over yeah. time, not like right away. Oh yeah, course, I'm sure that they can handle spike power up to some crazy number, yeah. right? Just you know, but not don't don't drop. 2000 watts rms or whatever <laughs> you know, just like here we go sine wave yeah <laughs> have at it uh, and i think part of the overall design with all of our speakers is you know we know people are using you know those budget home theater receivers you know anywhere from 300 up to maybe two thousand dollars and you know mm -hmm. on average all of those guys probably run anywhere between 50 to 150 watts so yeah, or eight. you know one of those eight watts, maybe. Or eight. <laughs> yeah. Well, all you know, they, it's like a two hundred watt AVR, all channels driven, eight watts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, you had to be careful with those. Yeah, exactly. But you know, in all, in in truth, though, you know, if you think about, you know, one watt into these guys is going to push you ninety one decibels, right, at, at a meter or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then every time you double your power, you you bump it up three decibels. So to get up to one hundred and five decibels, you're you're not ha you don't have to feed it a ton of power, right? Mm -hmm. When when your speakers are up into the ninety decibels uh, sensitivity range, you know they're they're not. I, I wouldn't call it a hungry speaker. I wouldn't be like, oh man, you got to huh. feed these things tons of power to, to get what you're trying to get out of it. Yeah. Um, you know. 300 watts into these things, like I said before, you, you can't, you can't, you just, you'll never turn it up that loud, loud to, right. to use 300 watts. I just, nobody, nobody will do it. It just won't happen. <laughs> you probably um, turn it up to like 30% volume and call it good. <laughs> most, most people, I think, listen at less than 10 watts almost all the time. And, oh, yeah. and I don't think people realize that. And you, dude, if you get into like the hardcore two channel world, when you're doing like, uh, you know, the, the really high end, uh, tube amps mm -hmm. uh, valves if you want to be really the, the valve amplifiers <laughs> you know they they they're searching for the one golden watt uh, yeah right that's what the golden watt the one gold i just want one golden watt to power my open baffle speaker or whatever right you know what i mean and they're like it's 108 decibel sensitivity open baffle i need one watt and it needs to be the best watt that can be produced um so i mean yeah so, so being it yeah 91 decibel sensitivity 300 watts you're 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 they're watching. easy going man <laughs> fully easy going yeah i had a, a a guy oh what was the name uh cliff face amplifiers ridge line ridge line i think amplifiers and it's a really small company um out of southern california and i haven't talked to him a while i hope they're making it because they were a startup and uh you know we had them on the show uh, a while back and you know, they, they talked about the one golden watt and that's the first time I'd really heard someone talk about it like that. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you know, our, our customers, they're, they're the kind of folks that just want that one golden watt. That's Cause funny. I was like, this is an eight watt amplifier. What are you going to do with that? And they're, like, <laughs> Dude, they're, that's, they're like, that's seven extra Watts. You do seven times the power that you need. And, I'm like, <laughs> and, and, I, and I thought about it. I'm like, well, you know, that's true because I don't really listen that loud anyway. And if it's 91 decibel sensitivity and I'm listening at 85 decibels or something, that's not even one watt. You know, you're, <laughs> you're at a fractional watt for, for that. Um, a partial anyway. watt. Uh, yeah, partial watt. Dude, you just <laughs> one partial golden watt. Um, so let's. So since this is a home theater channel, sounds like a saga, man. A partial <laughs> golden watt. <laughs> one golden watt. Because they care. One golden. You guys should release a, a tube amplifier that produces one watt. 
<laughs> right? It one watt into 16 ohms or something, right? It's, it's it for 32 ohm speakers. Um, and, and it could be the because we care line. <laughs> because we care line. Because we care <laughs> one one watt, but you have to price it like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, for, for a mono block. And right. we'll sell one. Well, yeah, you, you, so you had to buy two of them. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> anyway, all right, home theater. So if uh, if if I said <coughs> Dallas and Colin, I want to build the most crazy, tricked out, appearing audio home theater setup, uh, and let's just keep it simple, like seven channel, seven bed channels, four Atmos channels, and four subs. Right, so yeah. seven seven four four, right? okay. which is which is pretty common, I think, um, yeah. or seven dot one dot four, but with four subwoofers. <laughs> seven four four, come on, get over, guys. Um, what what would be the most baller setup? Oh man, I mean, I mean well, firstly, you know, you got to work within your room setup. But yeah, if, what's your room like? That's the first thing we're gonna. Ask that's you. always our first question. But we're talking about speakers, we got to know what the room is. So you you've got like a. <laughs> 14 foot wide, 24 foot long with uh, a AT screen in front with four feet of space behind it. All of your equipment will be in a room in the rear in the projection room. Projector is in the projection room, firing through glass into this room. <laughs> this room is uh, completely sound treated, you know, okay. like 90% diffusion and uh, absorption on all, all surfaces, including the ceiling. Um, uh, but you can choose to have your speakers visible or not, right? Um, You're not even going to make it hard on us? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, well, I'm not going to make it hard. Concept just, home, windows on the one side. No, no, this, this is hardcore. This is like somebody who's like, I'm, I, I'm super serious about this. The and one. I want the best sound I can get out of Epirian Audio. Yeah, yeah. So what, what do you think you do? What, what do you go with? I mean, go towers all around and ceiling speakers. <laughs> right, right on. Or... So, or you uh you know wait until we release new product later maybe this uh -oh. year or next year <laughs> oh so so what i'm hearing well, i'm just kidding is uh, appearing <laughs> audio various three concert on or in wall speakers oh that's yeah you, you know what i think you asked us about that last time uh <laughs> I, i'm a huge fan of the on wall and in walls i i nice. i really like them um and dude if if i could get Take take this take the Verse three concert here. This this is what I would like. Take one of those eights and move on top, mm. and then make this uh, an in wall form factor. <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah! Oh. Uh, even like this, just take this, rip the box off of it, and put some flanges so you could surface mount it on on, on your wall. Cut a big ass <laughs> hole. Yeah, have three I, yeah, dudes I, to hold it up and place it into the wall at one time. Oh, dude, you should you should see this. You go watch my video where I put in my uh, my Atmos speakers. I, I was all like, I thought I was going to get crushed and die. They're, they're these huge <laughs> things, but no, I would I would be completely down with that. I, I think yeah. that would be baller well, and a half. Speaking of eight inch Atmos speakers, I mean, did you look at our Claris line? Uh, our architecturals? I, I have not. That's I think we should go and look at that. So we got to pull right that up. up. Go to uh, go to speakers. And yeah. then uh, family, family and the Claris architectural. There we go. Our, our, Eight inch yeah, in ceiling, man. Yeah, yeah you're, dude, look at this. I like this. And that that's a oh, dude, yeah. for, for $12 more over the six and a half. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why, why would you not? You get the base if you need it, you know. And, oh, and you do need a little it. switch there. There's a little switch there. And, dude, oh, I, dude, you do need the base. People who don't think that you need base for Atmos, you're wrong. <laughs> because explosions can take place overhead and it's atmos an is, yeah i mean atmos is going to continue as a technology to mature for the sound mixers over time mm -hmm. and as i mean atmos is, is is like a legit real deal thing it makes a humongous difference in the listening experience and as content gets to be more full range coming out of those speakers you're you you need an eight inch driver yeah oh yeah yeah, you, you I mean it. the six and a half does great too, but the eight inch, especially with the Veris systems, that's been by far the most popular add-on. I mean, oh, we yeah. got Veris customers from the last ten years that are you know jumping up to Atmos, getting the new receiver, and it's like eight inch is just they're always like, well, I probably need the base, right? I'm like, well, you <laughs> can't then, go wrong with it, you know. And these are angled as well, so you can you just put them in there, spin them around, point them directly at your uh, your listening location, and and uh, you get I don't know. 
15, 20 degrees or something of angle. That's mm -hmm. cool. Right. Those yeah. Tweeter that, swivels too. Oh, so it's pivoting tweeter as well. Oh, mm -hmm. yep. Because you care. Because we care. Because you care. <laughs> You know, I wonder, it's probably only a matter of time till we add a fourth uh, digit to the Atmos setups for how many uh, ceiling subwoofers you have. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It'll be, I have a 9.4. Dot 4.4. Dot 4.4. Dot dot four. Dot four dot four. <laughs> 12.8.4. So I was, uh, I was in California, and I was actually out with... Uh, uh, who, uh, Alcon's audio. So I was making a video for those guys and we went to a place called icon and icon is a, uh, uh, it's, it's like a movie theater, but it's used for, uh, companies to demo their, their, their movies or TV shows in a high end theater environment. So they use it for quality assurance. So they'll oh, cool. come and they'll, they'll watch their stuff. So like Netflix will come in and watch their TV shows and make yeah. sure it looks and sounds right in a real environment. Um, you know, Warner brothers will come in and, uh, dude, they, you, you, these, this, this place had like four twenty ones hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> right. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's these, these boxes that are like, you know, they're, they're like three feet by three feet by two feet suspended. You know, they've got like uh what is that? All strut or something underneath it. Yeah. And the big bolts coming down. Yeah. And like, what is that? Yeah, those are, holding those, everything up. Like like, they're, like, they're like, those are 21s. I'm like, oh, <laughs> holy shit. Um, so, you know, subwoofers can go on the ceiling. I know people, it's not like a thing right now at home, but in, uh, in, right. in real cinema in oh, high yeah. end. Like it, the arc light. Oh, dude! I heard the arc light got sold or went out of business. Oh, really? Yeah. So, the, like the one in uh, Los Angeles, like the the yeah. flagship one. Yeah. Um, the what do they, they call it? The dome or something like that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I went there a lot of times when I was going to school out there. Yeah. So, um, I I, I was actually watching uh, Kevin Smith uh, does a, does a, a live stream. Kevin Smith, I want you on my show. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, clerks. It's all good. Oh, um, well, let's <laughs> one one day I'll be big enough to get a name like that. Uh, I, I, no personalities. Uh, but you know they were talking about that. Uh, yeah, so it went out of business, and you know that you know their prediction is that somebody will buy it, right, and then yeah. open it up. Uh, but yeah, they did. They didn't make it through. Um, well, I wonder if any of the big production studios would just rent it out. You know, to. Uh, to the sound producers that are doing the sound oh, totally. production. You know? I mean, I, I've never been to it before myself. I, I want to, uh, I, I would love it, but you know, like those guys went out of business and then Pacific theaters, I think they folded. Oh, and, wow. and I went to Pacific theaters a ton when I lived in Southern California. Um, you know, I, I was, I think Marina, Marina Del Rey had one, I think it was. And I went there a bunch of times, but yeah, it's, it's sad to see it go. At least AMC yeah. made it through. Uh, apparently, because I bought a bunch of AMC stock. <laughs> so, I can, I can, maybe I made the right bet. Yes. Yeah, nice. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's uh, let's go back through these speakers. Um, oh, well, let me see if anybody's got any comments here. Um, oh, we like comments. Uh, attenuation control rocks. I agree. Uh, I, th I think we did that one. In walls. Yes. Um, double A. He, he and I. We, 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 I think there's a bromance here. I'm not you sure. <laughs> it just, you know, there's, there's a thing. I mean, he's, yeah, he, he knows good stuff. Um, <laughs> he's watching the show, obviously. Um, easy home theater tech. Welcome. What's up? Um, hey. it would be epic. I agree. I'm not sure what the comment was about, but anything with appearing audio <laughs> would be <laughs> epic. Um, I think he was talking about your Varus LCR. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That would be uh, epic. Um, uh, Matthew Blair, have you guys ever given thought to a mid, a woofer mid tweeter mid? Dude, that's what I just called out <laughs> in my perfect in wall speaker. Yes, woofer mid tweeter mid woofer style LCR in the Varus line. Make it a flat, dude. This guy, he's he read my mind. Make it flat baffle, <laughs> four inch deep, uh, eight miles tall. Eight miles eight tall. Miles <laughs> and you got something for those who build cinemas with baffle. Yes, yes. This, this, and you guys have the technology. So all you need is like, a, a, a saw, <laughs> a saw, a saw and glue, That's and it. you know, just chop off one of the eights and swing it around. Chop off the back. There take some, take flanges off of your eight uh, eight inch in ceilings, right, and glue them on hot gun glue. Done. <laughs> yeah, Colin, uh, you got this. <laughs> on it. Hope you guys are taking notes. I'll start it tomorrow. Uh, 
super happy to see that the new Varish Grand Tower with eight inches I've been following for a long time since the early days of Intimus. I've actually rec recommended awesome. Aperion to a couple of folks, and they are both enjoying them. Well, dude, Sweet. thank you so much. Thank man. you. Yeah, and Matt, um, he, he owns, uh, I believe, his own home theater or hi-fi business. Um, and I can't oh. remember where he's out of, though. Gosh. Matt, call yourself, man, dude, plug yourself in the comments and I'll plug it too. If you're still listening, um, let everybody know what's up. He dude, yeah. he's a good dude. He is That's a, awesome. he is a good dude. He's, you know, whenever I've had questions and he was, he was helping me out with uh, some Clyde escape stuff and he's, he's a good dude. I really like, awesome. really like him. And he right also, on, he also lifts dude, that, that dude can lift. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, I, I, my, I got like nothing. Oh, dude. I'm just yeah. So me, and, me and Colin are both skinny little kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm jelly of what he's got going on. Um, <laughs> all right. So back, back to, uh, to the family of uh, Claris architectural. So you've got, looks like three of your, your, your round in wall speakers. Then you've got, you've got the square ones. All right. So yeah. what, uh, six and a half inch, then a dual six and a half inch. Uh, LCR and then a that's just different? a different style of a six yeah. and a half inch. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then the Novus that we looked at before, which are on walls, and then indoor outdoor speaker. So, you, this is something that you'd see somebody put like on a patio or something outdoors, right? Totally. Now, you can even use it, it in a restaurant or you know, yeah, it's like more like of an industrial design. Now, is, is this uh weatherproof at all or is it just more built for outdoors but don't get it wet? Uh, it's weatherproof. Oh, awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. See, now you can get the award winning Aperion sound for your favorite music on your patio deck or pool area at an affordable price. It doesn't get much better than that <laughs> because they care. See? Because we care. Oh, it's just going up <laughs> on hilarious. our website. I know that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. You guys are closing these out, but these are like double headed tweeter beasts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Nice. A cool two-channel speaker for, you know, if you're master bedroom, if you want stereo sound, but summed into a single speaker. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like what we were talking about before, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Look at that craziness. <laughs> yeah. So your left and right inputs, right? And then yep. it, so you, so you, it's, yeah, you just take your left and right powered and jam it in there and you're good to go. Yep. That's cool. And dude, uh, so is this going to be a discontinued model? You know, uh, it's not been as popular. Um, you know, and we've had it on closeout for quite a while now. Um, so, I, well, at 99 bucks, dude, how can you, how can you yeah. go along with it? You know, <laughs> amazing deal until they're yeah. gone. You know, yeah. honestly, so a lot of, uh, people are confused by the functionality of the speaker. And so we end up calling a lot of customers and, you know, getting them back into the right speakers that they need. Right. Uh, you know, cause they're thinking, you know, this is for home theater. I want to use this for my rear ceiling channels and it's not what it's for. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah totally. Just, totally. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah. That, that, that would not be too good for Atmos. No. Um, oh, cool. Right on. So what else, man? Oh dude, this we're, we're five minutes over and I haven't oh, even yeah. done any of the other stuff. So I'm afraid yeah, there's going to be no content corner. There's <laughs> all that other stuff is gone. <laughs> we're going to finish that with these speakers. Just geeking and, out hard. It's cool. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we've got, we talked about Novus Varus architecture. Oh dude. Um, we're, we're we got, so we, we got to cover these fast subwoofers. Subwoofers. Yeah. Dude, everybody's favorite topic. I love subwoofers. Yep. I mean, um, and dude, you got, so, so this, 12D. This is a um, single active double passive radiator. Is that correct? Yep. Where, yep. where are the passive radiators at? <laughs> That's you're looking like at that. them on the sides. Okay, so this this is the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got and you. And then the the bottom down firing uh, <gasps> is the active. Oh, okay. Come on, show show me a picture. Come on, show. show it's show, show probably me. in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, well there's there's the amp. All right, boom. There it All is. Right, there we go. Okay, that makes sense to me now. So. Passive down firing and, uh, or rather, active down firing, passive radiators on the back. And then on the rear, I guess you've got your plate amp. Okay. All right. I'm got you. I got you. And so, does this match the Varus line? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So you can, you can have that consistent look. That uh, Cherry 12D is a work of art, man. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, look oh, at that. Beautiful. Oh, a couple of those in the system with that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's going to, well, four of them would be even better, but yeah, that's uh oh, yeah, if you're doing a cherry system, you got to get two. Oh, I mean, at you least just gotta, 
at, at least two. Yeah, because Cherry's got two E's in it, right? It's symmetrical. Or two R's. C H E R. Yeah, two R R's. R R's. So it's the pirate speaker. There you go. Okay, and then you've got the shiny black. Yep. And and the the matte black. Now the shiny black. Does this match the the Varus as well? Which one is the yes, Varus? It does. Okay, shiny Varus is shiny. And then for folks that just want to go low key in a home theater or something like that. Yep. Uh, matches the black. Yeah, it matches the Novus. <sighs> you guys have thought of everything. It's because we care, man. Well, okay. I want it in white. Uh, then you gotta go. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then. The, or call us and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> there's spray paint. There's always spray paint. <laughs> I know the rattle can. Um and and now is the is the 10 and the 8 similar in design, meaning with exactly. passives? Okay. Yep. Got it. Got Single it. Single down okay. firing, dual passives on the side. Yep. Right on. All right. And then also after subwoofers, oops, family. Okay, now these these are kind of cool, right? Um, and these these are new. Aren't they this the ribbon super tweeter crazy banana mm -hmm. speakers? I mean those those things are the crazy smart. bananas. Yeah, I mean they, they they're they they go up to like two hundred thousand hertz or something, right? And they got like knobs. Forty k. Forty. Yeah. <laughs> two hundred thousand. Yes. <laughs> Forty or two hundred thousand. It's only like two more oh, yeah. to get to two hundred thousand. It's the last speaker you'll ever hear. You know, <laughs> literally, literally, <laughs> at least the highest pitch one. That's cool. So, what? Why would people look at super tweeters? What? What is the? What's going to make somebody get off the sofa, go to the computer, and be like, I have to have these now? <laughs> uh, first and foremost, um, they add some pretty amazing sparkle uh, to any speaker. Um, so, if your speaker, you know, feels like it might be lacking some of that treble response. Um, mm -hmm. the super tweeter is a great addition, uh, basically connects very easily to this, to your existing front left and right speaker. Um, and then from there, you've got attenuation and crossover knobs. Uh, so you can pretty much pretend like the super tweeter is the opposite of a subwoofer, um, you know, where it really right. accentuates, uh, or not necessarily accentuates cause it isn't, uh, you know, overly bright or harsh, um, or, too loud to the point where it would overpower your existing speakers. You know what I mean? Right. Um, it's just got that nice subtle touch on the high end. Um, you know, and that, that goes across the board for all of them. Um, you know, especially with the, the treble adjust. I mean, you can go down to negative five DB, which has got to be plenty for. Oh yeah. You know, that's, that's a very significant change in, in volume. Negative yeah. Minus five DB. That's, that's a big deal. And then I guess you would just, uh, this is the, where it cuts off at the high end or where it cuts in at the it's low end? It's where it allows it to uh, go what? down to. Uh, it's late, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like normally in bed at this time. Uh, <laughs> it uh, comes in at 8K. Is um, Yeah, so this 8K. is where you would, you would blend it in on the low end. So it can come in at 8, can come in at 10, can come in at 12, and then it just exactly. runs all the way up to, yeah, I, I <laughs> read it. High pass or low pass filter. I'm not thinking. <laughs> it's um, like... <laughs> but to, in, in the most curious setting is just turn it off. Right. So yeah. I guess, I guess if, you know, somebody in the family is like, I can't stand these, I got to have them turned off. Um, they can, they can, they can whack them if they want to. Otherwise, if you leave them off and you buy them, they don't help you at all. So don't, don't leave them in the off position if you want them to do something. It's not recommended. <laughs> yeah. That's the, not the recommended setup. Uh, <laughs> and they come in any color you want as long as it's black. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. I, I like just, it. Yeah. For our new flagships, uh, just the matte black like that. Right on. Okay, but the and then, ribbons and the planars. We yeah, got all sorts hover, of finishes. Hover over those guys, and you can see the different finish oh, options. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Yeah, white. And cherry. Oh, yeah. Click or, it. Oak. I'm sorry. Oak. Click <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. That, that That's actually rather nice. Mm -hmm. They're cool, man. Yeah. So they, the they oak cool. is slightly different than the Varus line, but it still is a really nice uh, natural wood finish. So uh, yeah. it should still blend as far as decor goes with our Varus line and, you know, any other... Uh, even our old Intimus uh, cherry line, you know, still yeah. blends pretty well with that. Now that's it's like maybe a little more red and a little bit darker. Maybe mm -hmm. I actually like that color a lot. Good. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. <laughs> Glad to oh, hear. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo I like it a lot. A lot. A lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I used to watch. Uh, what's that? The television show where people go sing and then they get voted off, or, or they the the four judges 
tell them that they suck or they're awesome. American Idol. Is yeah, American Idol. And remember they had uh they had the lady that was in uh the lady that was in that band with the other girls and she was scary spice. Spice girls. See how, got, see how I got to that? That's how my brain works. I have to follow a trail. There's like little crumbs that I can finally get to what I'm trying to, to remember. Um, and obviously she's British and she would say, you know, somebody would sing. She'd be like, oh, I like that. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I look at law. So you know, I look at law. I look at a law. Um, from, straight from Scary Spice. That's how we know if Giles likes it. Yeah, when I like likes it, it a lot. All right. And, okay. We're going to close out the evening with uh, – with something a little bit different, um, the Allaire. Yeah. And so what's what's up with the Allaire? And and it, there's there's a single model of Allaire right now. Is that correct? That correct. Correct. Right on. Here we go. Let's uh, let's take a look at these guys. What what what's what's the deal with these? Uh, Allaires are passive and active. So you got what? one. You got one with the amplifier, and then okay. a link cable to the other. Right. Makes sense. So everything's included in the box. To set up and plug into your TV, your computer, your mobile device, which is Bluetooth, so you don't have to plug anything in. Yeah, look at all those accessories. Isn't that awesome? Man, that's 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 you, you could just buy that the accessory kit for three ninety nine. I mean, <laughs> you could, you, but you why not get two hundred dollar cables? Yeah, the speakers are free. Yeah, man. There you go. <laughs> that no, they're sweet. Hard. They, uh, you know, got the aptX, uh, the aptX with the Bluetooth. Um, they sound amazing with TVs. I mean, honestly, it's a fantastic, you know, solution to sound bars and getting that true stereo imaging, you know. Uh, the dialogue's fantastic with those too, actually. Uh, there's even a subwoofer out. We have some bundle options where you add the, uh, add the Bravis 10 or the Bravis 8 to it. Uh, you actually get a free sub cable when you do that. So that's pretty rad. That is, um, that is rad. So let me, let me just go through the back here. So mm-hmm. you've got optical in, so you can pipe this in from, you know, a device that's doing digital out. Yep. Um, and so My that means, favorite. Yep. so, so this obviously has a DAC it, on board. Try double clicking that. See if it zooms anymore. No, I think, I, I think I have. <laughs> hands like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, see, what did I do? Um, so, all right. Yeah. So we've got optical in. So that means yep. obviously there's a DAC on board. Uh, I see, Sub out in, yep. uh, I don't want analog. Three analog five. Five. Okay, yeah. so, so if you want to pipe in RCA cables, you get an adapter, jam it in there with that. Makes sense. Comes um, in the box. Ooh, included in the low, low price. Yeah. Uh, and then, like speaker, I said, man, I like accessories. Yeah, speaker out to the right. Um, Those uh, cables are pre terminated with banana plugs. So, right on. It's nice stuff, man. It's That's just, bananas. It looks good. Bananas. It's bananas. Um, power and then. What, what is this a USB slot for like firmware updates or something? Uh, just ah. for powering your cell phone. Oh, because charge it up because you care. <laughs> oh my god, we even care about your cell phone battery, man. Oh, man, that's just I don't, I don't know. And it's got the you know, what is it, aptx so that so your so that your Bluetooth doesn't suck <laughs> as bad. Yeah, CD quality. Yep, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 it's so it's so your. Uh, Bluetooth doesn't suck. So yeah, if you're if you're not if you're not rocking this, then you're just not rocking in the free world. What is it? Not rocking in any world, man. Rocking in the rocking in the free world. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Oh, I've, I've had Matthew. <laughs> I've had I've had this comment up forever. I should take it down. Uh, all right. So I think I think we have covered the the brand and the models um, pretty we well. Got bonus footage. Uh, totally. To- oh, uh, hold on. Oh, so let me, I'm trying to get the, oh, uh, the inflection. <laughs> oh, but that's it. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's like, it's like an epiphany, right? Oh, oh. oh but, it, but it turns into a question instead of a statement. So it's like, oh, that's it. Oh. Can the layer be used as near field as studio monitors? Yes. It's in the market. I use them at home for my home studio. Nice. And they plug into my Focusrite um, interface. That's nice. That's nice. No Pants (laughs) Records in Portland, Oregon just did a nice uh, commercial for us. Really? They love them. Yeah. uh, Dude, you got to send me a link so I can call it out, shout it out, and show it. I can do that. Yeah, cool. totally, totally. Um, and dude, if you want a pair, there's a link right down below. You just just click it and buy it. Get them. There's a coupon. There's a coupon. All right. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Enough of that. All right. So um, 
at this point, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward through all the stuff that's supposed to happen. What's up? It's time for Content Corner, and I watched Chaos Walking, and it was super awesome. Okay, so that section is now done. Cool. Um, but I, I did watch Chaos Walking, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I think they've set it up so that they can have a television series afterward. Mm. So it was it was a good movie. It was fun. It was mostly predictable, but not not bad. And the whole concept of you know your thoughts being heard out loud is is kind of cool. So um, yeah, uh, I, I, I give it I give it two thumbs up. Three. Uh, how many thumbs do I have? Two. A thumb a you, thumb and a half. You got two big toes. Yeah, yeah, dude. To get, the big, to get the big toes though, it's got to be like that's another level. I'm saving that for Dune. <laughs> it's got to knock your shoes off first. There you go. And your socks. <laughs> that's so good. Well, I'm uh, so but, glad I work with you, man. See what it's like uh, to work with me. Oh uh, God, how can you I, stand I, it? Dallas? I'm a little jealous. I'm going to hire you away. <laughs> are you interested in a municipal government job you don't want to do that because I, I can hook you up um, uh, all right so uh the home theater fanatics uh, upcoming projects uh i'm filming a video where i show you how to hook up a 2.1 system for folks that are interested in a 2.1 system why would you do it uh and uh, i'm going to feature some martin logan gear in that this week's video is the boulder uh integrated 866 amplifier which is a Nice rocking amplifier, integrated amplifier that costs about what a car does. Um, and it is gorgeous and it is beautiful and it sounds awesome. Um, awesome. And and uh, they only let me have it for a little while and they sent it back and they, you know, they were like, are you done yet? I'm like, no. They're like, you've had it for a long time. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to make this perfect. Are you done yet? And yeah, we're no. going to need that back. Just, yeah, they're like, here's the label. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do I just go ahead and drop that in the mail? Like <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be nice if you send it back to us. But the you know, they're just right up the road. So they're like, well, we know where you live. We'll come find you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all right, okay, all right. You 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 got me. You got me. Um, but that that'll be coming out. Uh the plan is for this Friday, maybe Saturday, but it may be Thursday, it just depends. Um th this week. Um in the next week, uh headphone man, headphones, hi-fi man will be on, and they make some absolutely spectacular headphones. If you guys haven't listened to Hi-Fi Man headphones before, they make some crazy good uh, uh, planner magnetic headphones. I mean, they just, and oh, they, cool. they, they have open back and, and now a new series of closed back headphones uh, that are, that are wood. Oh man, just oh, that's good. Sweet. Featured on your uh, website, Charles? Uh, Are they on my web? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. That, that website where we have the Aperion banner too? Uh, I, I have had a banner for them up there before, yes, okay. but I don't, I was, when I don't, you started talking about it and that's, I was like, oh yeah, I remember them. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that banner is up now any longer though. Cause I changed my hosting and all kinds of stuff. So the website is in gotcha. disarray right now Yeah, um, <laughs> because it was, I, it was a Shopify site, but I really wasn't selling anything on it. So I'm all like, why am I spending all this money on Shopify site when I'm not really doing any e-commerce? <laughs> so now it's a Wix website <laughs> for like go. half the cost. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that that's part of my content that I guess I've grossly neglected over time, and I need to deal with it a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I there's so much stuff to do, not enough yeah. time to do it all. It's just so much, so much. All right. Um, so uh, everybody out there, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, I appreciate it. If you have a second, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you're in YouTube, if you're not watching on YouTube, go to YouTube, search for <laughs> Home Theater Fanatics, and then click on the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Uh, and then. A super special thanks to Colin and Dallas. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, I know thanks for having us, man. Oh, anytime. I, I know your time is valuable. Everybody's time is valuable. It's the one thing you can never get back. So when uh, somebody's willing to spend a little bit of time with me on the show, I am super appreciative. So again, thanks so much. And uh, and you know everybody out there, if you haven't looked at this gear, you've got to look at this gear. It is awesome it is good it looks great and it sounds better um and if it look and if it sounds better than it looks then you know it's got to be awesome because it looks really really good and the the new varus towers i mean oh that's ridiculous oh yeah it just, it's just it's just crazy I'm saying, um, call and, me up let's chat yeah and, and with that i think we're going to be done and you know if you have more questions there'll be links down below so you can find the website they've got a phone number if you want to talk to somebody and i'm sure they'll be willing to field all your questions and give you probably the best customer service you've ever had. That's just, just, I, I think that oh, you're setting me up Giles. Yeah, I, I, I am. I think that's exactly what would happen though. I have, I dude, I've got faith. I love it. You got to have faith, faith, right? Faith, the faith. <laughs> Who is that? We were totally making jokes about that one biscuit song the other day. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. That's funny. 
that's hilarious. All you right, know, folks. House parties. So, Twenty one minutes. Thank you so much. Oh, anytime. Like I said, yeah, you guys are always welcome on the show. I can't wait to talk about the the next big thing. And hopefully in, uh, in, in a little while, we'll have some new content coming out on Home Theater Fanatics featuring some of this new stuff so you can kind of get hands on with it and see what it's like to actually touch and feel this stuff in, in a home theater so you can see if this is exactly what you want or not. It is. <laughs> All, right. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll cool. see you in the Thanks. next video. Cheers. Thanks.